I'm Hugh and Hook and this is The Real Review. So the wine we're tasting now is the Napstein Clare Valley Shiraz 2019. There it is, uh, with the picture of the old Enterprise Brewery on the label, which is um, where the Napstein Winery is these days. And um, this wine is um, absolutely essence of Clare Valley. Napstein, one of the great names of the Clare Valley. The Napstein family has a long history in the Clare Valley. They first arrived in the Clare Valley from Germany in the 19th century, and they worked in uh, a, a winery which became the Stanley Wine Company. Later became Stanley Leasing and Wine Company. And Tim Napstein was one of the, uh, the next, my generation, I guess, of the Napstein family. He worked at Stanley Leasingham and then he started his own business, which is this one. But after a few years, he sold it and now it's owned by Accolade. Accolade, the Hardys, the company that owns Hardys. So how does this wine taste? Let's have a look. Lovely deep colour, good purple tinge, exactly what you'd hope for in a two-year-old Clear Valley Shiraz. Very youthful. And the nose, the nose is really something special. You don't normally expect peppery spice characters from the Clare Valley because it's quite a warm area, it's not very cool. But this has definitely got some spice to it, the, the aroma of this wine. Really attractive, very fragrant. Pepper and uh, other types of spice, cloves and, 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 and perhaps some star anise. Um, it doesn't have a lot of mint. Quite often Shiraz and Clare can be very minty. That's a very, very attractive nose. Let's have a taste. Mmm, that's a bit one. It's got intensity, but it's also got softness. It's very approachable. You can drink it now, enjoy it now. But I would say that, that wine, if you sell it, it will last for at least 15 years, no problem. That's the nature of good Clare Valley Shiraz. Intense, long, spicy, um, a quite elegant wine, really. I mean, some Clare Valley wines can be quite on the heavy side with a lot of tannin, but this one is not. Beautiful wine. How do we score it? 90. We gave it 90 points out of 100, and it's $22 wine. So that means it's a top value wine. It's a very good price for quality um, rapport. What did we uh, recommend to go with this wine? Eggplant vegetarian moussaka would be the recommendation. Um, of course, moussaka is not always a vegetarian meal. You could substitute mincemeat if you wanted to and make the authentic moussaka. Either of them would go well with this wine, I'm sure. And if you want to see the recipe, just go to the end and have a look there. 